Hi, I'm Kat and this is Dalton. Since late 2018, the self-built Dodge camper van has been our full-time traveling home. In that time, we've had a lot of crazy adventures, ups and downs, and even adopted the world's cutest pup. If you've been following along, you know we've recently been going through some pretty big changes. Join us this week as we take you along on the process to sell our very first home and begin the bathroom demolition on our soon-to-be new home, a vintage 1989 Ford RV. Subscribe and welcome to our home on the move. Our last van ride. Our last van ride. When everybody's used to living in a small space. Oh my good girl. Stay. So this might be goodbye. I feel like that is very crazy to think about, but we might be saying goodbye today. Home. So, we so, did it. We did it. It's a very emotional day, but we are saying goodbye to Dory and moving on to our next chapter. And we just wanted to say thank you for everyone who has followed us along in the van these past three years. Your support really has mean the world to us. Meant so much. Um, we're probably both about to start crying. Um, if you followed along, you know how much this van means to us, but we're super excited. The new owner, Jessica, um, loves her just as much as we do and is excited to start traveling with our pup. So, um, if she's okay with it, we'll post her socials down below so you can follow along with what the van gets up to next. And um, what we get up to next. And what we get up to next. So, well, if you keep following, of course, we're going to be doing the new RV. We still have the vintage Volkswagen and we can't hope to or can't wait to take you along and hope to see you on the road. Yep. This is the final, final walkthrough of our baby. We have the cab, we have these rotating captain's chairs, which again, Dalton built these custom swivel seats. We have our custom kitchen with upper cabinets, storage above the cab, lots of cabinet space down here, secret cutting board with access to a foot pump sink. Some gray water storage underneath. Under this cabinet, we have a refrigerator and then some additional storage space. We have a closet type situation right up here. Our absolute favorite 360 rotating fan by Seeker by Sirocco. Under here, we have all of our electrical components, which are a little hard to get to right now. And then we have our bed platform, which in the back has a big garage connected to the back, but under here is our sneaky under the bed storage. The saying goodbye though is feeling a lot harder um, than we thought we were gonna be. There were so many firsts that happened in here. We really fell in love, traveled the country for the first time, really learned to believe in ourselves, in our design, in our building abilities. Um, so to see her all come together, travel the country twice, adopt a puppy, 
Um, it's a surreal moment to say goodbye and to watch her return back to her home state of Virginia. With the blink of an eye, the van was gone and our very special guest had finally arrived. I gotta film you so I can show mom. <laughs> as soon as Clinton arrived, the boys got right to work finishing up the engine rebuild to get her up and running. So at the moment, I've pretty much completed demolition, except for the bathroom. And the motor is finally running, and my brother got here. So lots of great news. And now I'm going to start cleaning up everything inside here so that I can start working on the floor. And we can see the process of that. So right now, as you can see, there's a lot of stuff in here. Let's um, get to cleaning that up. Side by side, we sway there in all the colors. Hey everyone, so day 15, 20, I have honestly no idea, but we are going to keep tearing out the rest of this stuff in the Chinook, there's a little carpet, a little bit of wood still left over, and then we'll get to the wood attached to the bathroom, and we'll be able to remove the so let's get to it. Inside the bathroom is a vanity. So it's a very small vanity right there. So let's take that out. So I think the way that I will be able to take this out is this stud on this wall and then maybe after the toilet's unhooked and the water lines, it may, might move. So the bathroom has an access door through the rear of the Chinook. 
so that you can access the plumbing to the sink, toilet, and the shower drain I think is centered here. So the next step before we move any further will be to remove the bathroom. But before I do that, to remove the fittings. So that fitting needs to come out and that fitting needs to come out. And also that's where the toilet hooks up to and then where the um, shower drains down into the tank. So let's start taking apart the sink, then to the to toilet, then the shower, and start getting this taken apart and taken out of there. So now we're gonna move down and take off the toilet fitting. So we're gonna remove water. So to remove the shower and the Chinook, we need to remove the black water tank that sits against this so that we can get to the drain that is inside of our shower. But to get to that, we're going to have to take out the square the hose for the black water tank is and then a gray and a black water tank. I went ahead and did some research on removing the toilet and I've just got to remove some bolts and then it should lift up out of there. Let's get it removed. I'm so happy the toilet is out. The big step. So next is going to be unhooking this, just unscrewing this and removing this. And we should be able to take some screws off of this wall. She should move. So I've been trying to get out the bathroom toilet flange and the screws around the flange are all rusted. So, so let me show you those, they're all rusted. So now I'm going to have to use a drill and a drill bit to drill them out. off and the bathroom should come out. The van of a hundred and one smells. <laughs> Use. 
can see how gone the wood really is next to the carpet. It's exciting though. So thank you so much for sticking around with us again this week. Next week, make sure to stay tuned because we're gonna take you along for the deconstruction of our floor. It's gonna be a bit of a crazy journey these next couple weeks with the RV, so make sure you are subscribed by clicking the button down below so you can stay up to date with everything we're doing on the RV. We'll see you next week.